Uh, one of you asked for this video and I thought it was a great idea. So here are units and equations flashcards. So for P1, this is what you'll get given on the formula sheet. These are the equations. You'll get told what each of the parts are, but you won't get told the units. So a really important skill is being able to relate the units back to the formula sheet. I've made loads of videos in a playlist called um, Essential Maths for GCSE Physics, which will talk you through how to do all of this. But this is just linking the um, units to the equations. So I'm going to give you the um, the the uh, letter that you'll get in the equation, what it stands for here, and then I'm going to give you a bit of time to work out what the unit is and then write it down. So energy we measure in joules. Mass we measure in kilograms. Super heat capacity, this is a tricky one, is measured in joules per kilogram degree C. And temperature change is measured in degree C. See, this is a slightly tricky one because the standard unit for energy is joules, mm. unless we're talking about um, electrical energy, and then it's going to be kilowatt hours. Read the question carefully so that you can work out which one you need to use. So I always ask, you know, what is the unit for power in class? Um, a kindly student generally in the back gives me a wire right smile occasionally. But the unit for power is watts. Again, unless we're talking about electrical energy, then the standard unit is kilowatt. It should be clear from the question which one you need to use. So standard unit normally for time is seconds, again unless we're talking about electrical energy or it's going to be hours. So our unit for speed is metres per second. Our unit for frequency is hertz. This is a good opportunity to point out the fact um, that this is a H, a capital H, and this is a lowercase z. In the exam, you will lose marks if you have two lowercase letters or if you have two capital letters. These are not the correct units. You have to have capital H and lowercase z. And then lastly, wavelength. And our unit for wavelength is in metres. Again, they could give you a unit in centimetres or in um, kilometres. Make sure you convert that into metres. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below, please.